welcome back. When we left off, I met a girl called Clementine, got attacked by a clay, uh, babysitter, and now I have to choose whether to go out in the dark to find help, or go before the sun gets down, goes down. And I am going to choose uh, the safety of daylight. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah. Oh wow! I actually it's said not that. Safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Stay close. I don't want you running off now. What a brave girl, though. Staying in a treehouse while no one's home. God. She must have been so scared. That was an evil look. What did I just say about not running off? Hello? I'm a cripple, you know. Slow down. Okay. So, what is the next event? Oh, people. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mom at this rate. No, you're not. Oh, it's hot this night. I want some. Why is she hiding behind the bit? Okay. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Well, the tire swing might talk to you, so uh, I'm won't, I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Booga booga booga! Holy shit! Don't eat us! Oh wow, that was good we're timing. Hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chump. We're looking for help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Me. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. So, Che? We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not her dad. I'm... Uh... Her babysitter. Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Sean thinks you're the babysitter now. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? The monster's coming. We gotta go. She didn't make up her mind. Let's go. Oh god. Um. Ah. And push. Oh, Clementine even joined in. Good girl. Is that it? Alright, yeah, that's it. As babysitters go, I'd say her parents are you a tip. Hmm, interesting theory. Loading. Saving. Wow, there's no zombies around at all on, around here. Might speak too soon though. Never know. It looks pretty deserted. Hey, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Likewise. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple of days. 
people wrecking down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm I have I'm the same hairstyle. Like father, like, like son. Guests. Yes. Your boy is a lifesaver. Life Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Who are you insinuating? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Thank you. He didn't even say thank you. Why do you shake Let's his head? Look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Daniel. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel knows your name. That's very interesting information there. How'd this happen? Uh, I was in a car accident. Car accident. <laughs> that so? Herschel that made note of that. Before the car accident. Uh, I was heading home. home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Uh, truthful is the answer. The police officer. He was giving me a ride. Herschel it's believes you. Nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Thank you. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. Yeah, I it's what you gonna be TV pretty necessary radio. if you Are ask me. Serious? Shit, hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. <sighs> well, the sun is right. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Uh, dead people walking. Got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it, really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Oh, I actually said thanks this time. Or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Why do I get the feeling that well, was not a joke? Address it and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. Yeah. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right then. It smells like. <laughs> it smells like shit in here. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Just oh God. <laughs> that was a swear. Oh, I'm sorry. My mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hmm, very interesting. They got the bed set up and everything. I love you. Load 
reading. Hey, get up. Ugh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're under no offense. The oh God. Go away now. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Uh. Duck. Yeah. Nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. Okay, thanks for watching, people. Hope to see you in the next episode. I'm the Chapinator. And I'll see you next time.